All right, I'm just sitting here thinking about some stuff, and I've got this NEMA 17 motor, and I'm swapping hands with the camera here. And I've got this, I don't know, I think it's like a, it's a little smaller. It's like a 14 maybe, NEMA 14 or NEMA 16. I think it's a NEMA 16, a little flat pancake motor. And I got some of these jobs right here, which fit, fit, fit on right there. Oh, that was loud. And I could fit that on right there. And then I got a laser module right there. So I was just thinking that if I did something like this and something like, let's see, this, no, this, right then I could put this like this you see what I'm thinking yeah so and I can do it with just a few parts so I got three little pieces to cut out and then these are just these are supports right here so I think I'm gonna walk down to the shop and see what I can do Remember that? And, uh, oh, oh, oh. There we go. Perfect. All right. So now I've got the one, two, three big pieces. What? A couple of little supports all laid out. And I've got my holes marked here, all there. And so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to drill pilot holes in all these. And then I'm going to put super glue on them to keep them from breaking out. And then I'll drill the rest of the holes. So, all right, moving along. Now I'm just going to strengthen these holes with some super glue so this doesn't tear out when I do the cutting and drilling, the final cutting and drilling. Here's all our parts laid out. Got a basic sanding going down. So this will be our base. And these will hold the big stepper motor, the NEMA 17. These will be our connectors to the 
uh, they fit in these holes right here that hole and that hole and then the motor the little motor is going to be on this there and then this will be our plate that holds our our uh, oh what do you call that thing laser diode all right I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna spend some time and get this stuff uh, all glued up very uh, square and whatnot so I'll be back all right here's all the pieces assembled so there's our NEMA 17 holder and that will be the first piece that goes there and then this piece will be the one that goes here all right so I'm gonna get some finish on them get them painted up here or uh, just putting this clear stuff on them all right so now we just gotta wait for the paint to dry well I decided I should do some more painting <laughs> All right, now we're back from the shop. So let's, my paint is almost dry. So let's see about putting this together. So that sits right down in there. Mm, we might have to do some fitting there, but that's pretty good. Oh, it moves a little bit. Might have to put a little pad in there. All right. And then here is our motor. And this is, should screw right on there if we did our screw holes the right way. And I'll cut here because Ben's making all kinds of noise. good all right now so this has their set screws here so we'll put that one on there now, it doesn't really matter where it is because I think we don't want it that far down all right let me find a set screw all right I think that'll work this one goes on here and if I designed it right then when this is flush I should just barely be able to reach that set screw all right so that should be good for testing so we got our left and right or x-axis yeah I'm gonna have to get this thing it's a little need to be a little tighter in there but once that that'll get I'll put some foam on there or something alright so here's our x-axis and then this will be the y-axis oh you know what I could go further if I raise this up Okay. All right. So, okay, yeah, that goes. See, that goes almost that goes 45 right there. Nearly 45 up. I'm a little off on my down, but okay, and then this will go back and forth. So, we can put our laser right here. And then we'll put a uh, camera Maybe we'll put a camera on here too. And this will be a good good prototype for that. And then our cable here. 
and the cable here. And this cable will route down here somewhere. We'll pick, we'll see how far we have to turn. And then uh, we'll do that. All right, so looking good so far. Okay, it's the next day. Now, I did some modification to this. So now it has a lot more range of motion. Okay, so that'll be good. I just kind of rounded it. Rounded it up right there. Okay, then we've got our uh, laser. I'm going to unplug this so we can see things better. All right. So we've got a laser, and then this is out of a camera. I just took the camera apart and used the module itself. Okay. Now, I put a little piece of tape on the back, and then I made this little bracket, which is screwed down right there. It's also got a little bit of super glue on it. And then it's pinching down and holding that module in place. It's just pushed into this corner. And then the processor for this module is under there, and this bracket is actually glued to it. So this is, this is acting as a heat sink and a bracket to hold it. So I kind of I put the laser on there and then I bent this tab around until when I put this on there the camera was lined up. So we're pretty close. We should be good. We got a really good range of motion. So way up, way down, and then you know way around left and right. So that'll be good. So the next thing we'll do is route all these wires together right here. Okay, probably take these wires and hook them on there. Route everything together. Then they'll come out, come out down here. So that should give us good, good motion, real wide range in both directions. So we'll be able to see things with the camera, point at them with the laser. That'll be a good, good platform for testing, targeting things. Several days later. All right, I'm getting ready to start working on wiring and that sort of thing. So I put this together to hold everything. It's just a little board. Got a breadboard down here, and so this is a stepper motor controller. Well, it's a carrier. I'll put stepper motor controller plugs in right here so I got two stepper motor carriers and then this is an H bridge and I'll just use it as I think it'll handle um, two amps per channel so that means I got four channels I can use at two amps each so initially we'll use it to turn the laser on and off but as we progress with this thing maybe we'll do more nefarious things like uh, Pull triggers and that sort of thing. Okay, so then the prototype board. I'm either going to use a W, <clears throat> an ESP32 like this, or I also have some W600s, and I may use those. But anyway, we're just getting getting ready to do it. So this will kind of help keep all the wiring. Wiring just makes everything look ugly, <clears throat> but this will help keep it sort of straight. So that's where we are. All right, there's nothing worse to mess up a project than adding wires, right? So I've got this thing all wired up. So let's say here is 12 volts coming in. It goes to each one of these and then over to here. This converts it to five and that goes to the board. All right, so here's my stepper motor controllers. All good to go in there. Okay, there's, this is the uh, Y channel, this is the X channel, and okay, I decided to use an ESP32, so that's what I'm doing there. Now this is my debug port, so it's a USB serial 
programming port, uh, which I'll take this off at some point. And then I have another UART hooked up here, and this is my commands going in from my desktop. Okay, got this chip over here. Eventually, I'm going to use this, but right now I'm using this to turn the laser on and off. Okay, and then here's the four wires going out to the X stepper, four wires to the Y stepper, and then here is the laser wire going out, and here is the camera coming back. And I've got some basic programming done, so here is the thing. So I'm just uh, going back and forth a little bit, shooting a laser. Now you can't see that laser, can you? Because it's too bright in the camera. All right. So we've got good range of motion. I can go about 180 either direction. Okay, so um, there's the wires. They're just coming off just the way we wanted. They kind of go under there and then we're to go around the front all right so they're just going around the front and they're hooked on right there and then they're just all coming down here so two stepper motors laser and the camera all right and I've got some initial software written for the um, for controlling this thing but I don't I don't have it up and running with this yet so let me um, let me show you what this looks like on the uh, from the camera view I guess let's see yep okay so range of motion and shoot the laser up down one way the other and then it's just firing the laser um, when, it, when it comes back around. Okay, so just getting it tested, but um, looking pretty good. Thank <laughs> you.